Hello everyone and welcome to All About Research YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to talk about that what are the differences between uh, UGC JRF and CSIR JRF for science scholars. Now uh, when somebody asks for UGC JRF people usually misinterpret it and they think that UGC JRF deals with non-science student and CSIR JRF deals with science student. But it's not like that. If you will see the result of CSIR net, when the CSIR net result is uploaded, you will find out that there are two sections in it. One is for UGC JRF student and the other one is for CSIR JRF students. So, uh, science students also get UGC JRF as well as CSIR JRF. And uh, in this video, we will try to see that what are the similarities between them, what are the differences between them, which one is better in what respect. Okay, So, uh, that's what this video is going to be all about. One more important thing that if you are new to this channel and if you have found this channel and if you are watching this particular video, please do consider subscribing it. This is a particular channel where we are going to make a community of research scholars, be it from any stream of science. So, we are trying to make a community of all the research scholars so that we can discuss about the things related to research. We can have a various podcast with other scientists. Now, uh, that's what this channel is going to be all about. So, please do consider subscribing it and making this community more strong. So, before going into the video, let me tell you what UGC and CSIR stands for. So, UGC is University Grant Commission. It's a body which comes under MHRD and it deals with all the universities, whatever universities are there throughout India, they all regulate under UGC. CSIR is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. That's again a body which regulates under a Ministry of Human Resource and Development, MHRD of Government of India. Combinedly, their focus is to grow research environment throughout the country. Now, let's talk about the similarities between both of them. The first similarity which you will find out between both these fellowship is that the fellowship amount. Okay, so both the fellowship amount is same. So, 31,000 per month is what you get as a scholarship. If you are UGC JRF or you are CSIR JRF, it does not matter. The fellowship amount is same. HRA is also same. Uh, you also get the similar amount of uh, contingency. Okay, So, all the monetary benefit is actually same for both these particular fellowships. So, that is the first similarity which you will see between both of them. Second similarity is between the tenor of fellowship. So, the tenor of both these fellowship means up till what time they are going, you are going to get that fellowship is also same for both of them. If you are already a research scholar, the fellowship starts from the day at which the result has been declared. And if you are someone who is joining research after qualifying the CSIR net exam, then uh, your tenure of your fellowship will start from the date of joining of your research. Okay? So, these two things are quite similar for both of them. Third similarity is validity means uh, where it is valid. So, generally both these fellowships whether it is CSIR uh, JRF or whether it is UGC JRF they are considered to be equal. They are considered to be equivalent in all the IITs, in all the ISRs, in all the IAS means in the IASC and in all the university admissions. So, wherever you want to take admission as a PhD scholar all these places you will be considered equivalent whether you are CSIR JRF or whether you are UGC JRF. So, all these places you are going to be considered as same. So, uh, validity and equivalence like equal uh, equal priority is given in IITs, ISERs, IASC uh, and universities. So, that these are some of the similarities which are there in both of them. Next, let us talk about that what are the differences between both of them. The first difference uh, between both of them is that when you go for CSIR labs, okay, if you want to join a CSIR lab, over there preference is given to CSIR JRF instead of UGC JRF. So, in CSIR labs, you will get more preference. So, preference to CSIR JRF. Okay. So, CSIR JRF will be given more preference over a UGC JRF. It is not like that UGC JRF cannot apply for that. But if there will be two uh, candidates, one is UGC JRF and the other one is CSIR JRF, they will give more priority to a CSIR JRF candidate. The next difference which you are going to see is in the number of uh, candidates who get this fellowship. So, CSIR fellowship, CSIR fellowship is given to less number of candidates, okay, less candidates get this particular fellowship, whereas UGC JRF is given to more number of candidates, okay. The third difference which you will see will be at the time of SRF upgradation. So, when you are going to do SRF upgradation, 
at that time you will find out that there are some little bit of differences between both of them. The process of UGC JRF is little different than the process of CSIR JRF. Those things we will discuss in some other video. SRF upgradation, if you do not know, let me tell you that after 2 years of your PhD or after 2 years of your research, you can upgrade yourself from JRF to SRF. SRF is senior research fellow. So, that is called SRF upgradation. So, for that, the process is little bit different for UGC and for CSIR. Now, before ending this video, there should be something which you should know if uh, there are some points which you should know about CSIR and UGC JRF. So, the first point which you should know is that UGC JRF, okay, UGC JRF fellowships are regular, okay. So, UGC JRF fellowship are regular as compared to CSIR JRF fellowship. So, regular means UGC JRF fellowship you will get approximately at after every month you will get the fellowship amount credited in your bank account but if you are csir jrf you have to wait for three months maybe sometimes it can go up till six months so still, till six months you will not get any fellowship at once you will get all the uh, six month fellowship so that becomes very difficult for a csir jrf and i have friends who are having csir jrf and they struggle for this a lot so csir jrf is not that much regular as compared to ugc jrf it's not like that you won't get the money you will get but not at a regular interval of time so in that way ugc jrf is a better option but uh, as i told you that if you want to join a csir lab over there ugc jrf has little bit of demerit compared to csir jrf fellowship next thing is that uh, one important question which many people ask me that can you choose that which fellowship you want to take no okay so this is a randomly uh, like randomly decided so it's a randomly decided uh, fellowship okay so it's all based upon your luck that whether your name or your roll number will come under csir jrf list or it will come under ugc jrf list it does not matter so whatever fellowship you are getting whether you are got, whether you have got csir jrf fellowship or you have got ugc jrf fellowship both of them are very equal on all the other basis just one small or one or two small differences are there otherwise all the other things are same for both of them so in that way you should not get panic about that i got csir jrf i got ugc jrf whether i will be getting fellowship or not whether i can take admission or not both of them have same benefits same all the benefits whatever you enjoy for jrf all the benefits are same for csir jrf also and for ugc jrf also so these are randomly uh, randomly decided it's not at all you are not at all going to decide that whether you will be going to take csir jrf or ugc jrf that is decided at the end when the result comes it's a random like kind of lucky draw that what you get uh, at the result time so that's it for this video because recently csir has uploaded their result and there was a lot of panic among the students they were afraid that what uh, what is CSIR JRF, what is UGC JRF. So, I just thought to make a short video so that you understand about these things. I hope you like the video. If you like, please give it a like to this particular uh, video and also do consider subscribing the channel. That's all from my side. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.